LabX is the public engagement test bed of the National Academy of Sciences. We do all kinds of crazy stuff with uh, different types of entertainment, media, um, events and things like that, trying to get people to kind of engage with science in new and different ways, or just show them the science that's kind of already present in the things that they do engage with. This was the kind of world that I was trying to find when I was studying astrophysics. It was really nice to just step into a, a fictional world and see science that I learned. Like for example, evolution should be slightly different on another planet because different evolutionary conditions. So my primary field is learning sciences, but we did a lot of work in video games and our lab exists within the Robotics Institute at Carnegie Mellon. So we work with robots and we work with roboticists all the time. Uh, so it was a chance to really combine two things that I love doing, which is explaining things to people in a way that they'll find engaging. Right. Uh, but also sticking to subject matter that makes sense and that we've been for you know many decades at this point, trying to find ways to help people learn, engage with science. I will bang on the games are art drum all day, every day, sure. all the time. I mean, I've, I've been an avid video gamer since I was seven. The great thing about art is that it can inspire a passion, Yeah. right? You play around in a space environment in a video game for long enough, or you watch space movies, and you, 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 you want to learn. My own personal experience was, you know, watching sci-fi. I wanted to be Hikaru Sulu on Star Trek. This was the sort of thing that, that got me into space sciences in the first place. And speed dragons in and of itself is just like a very scientific like, practice, right? I, I myself am not a scientist, but I, I'm really interested in the sciences. And I think that that's like something that we, we always put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be like, oh, I'm not this thing, or I am this thing. But science is for everyone. Anyone can enjoy it and be part of that experience of kind of discovering new things, learning things, and kind of just like having fun. Absolutely any chance that you can bring that science out of the laboratory and into people's, not just their homes, but their daily enjoyment, I think that's powerful.